Hey everyone, welcome to my mobility YouTube channel. Today we're waiting for the long-awaited Ryan RS60. It's the first one coming in Belgium. Um, as you can see, today we are in our shop in Leuven. Unfortunately, we can't be outside because it's bad weather. Uh, it's going to be a video about an unboxing, just looking at all the features of the machine. We won't make a test drive on that machine because it's already sold to a customer who also is waiting for it. So, uh, let's do it. So as you can see, probably on other videos, the Ryan, uh, uh, all the Ryan are coming into wood crates, nice crates. Um, they are not that big, I would really imagine something much bigger. So don't wait more, let's unscrew it. And the last one, it's there. So I received um, an RS60 carbon and red, so a big color model. Um, I don't know if you're gonna see it good there, maybe? No. Um, so, let's see. We have it here. It's in really nice condition, what you expect. That's probably the charger. Oh, the motorbike kickstand. So that's the Ryan standing on its own. Some manual. Okay, so Ryan advise a 25.3 kilo machine. So full carbon and the arms front and rear in aluminium. Let's see. Okay. So let's say it's a bit heavier uh, than the spider. Uh, the front spider. Uh, let's put that away. Okay. Get the stands. It was sold normally with MT4 Magora brake uh, and the surprise is that we receive it with the MT7 Pro version so uh, with a nice finish and touch it's something not much but it's uh, yeah you just put the, the, the ring red water red like the rest um, let me just come here and I show you the, the, the folding mechanism uh, the folding mechanism, like uh, you could see before, this one here. The folding mechanism looks really good. As you can see here, it's really nice finishing. The drilling is perfect. Um, looks pretty strong too. So that's how it is. The loop, the hook goes in there. Yeah, here are the two screws to adjust probably in the future. Uh, I don't know, Jonathan, if it's uh, you have so close. Uh, uh, yes, it's I'm working. Oh, yeah? okay, so, okay. So those two screws are probably to adjust uh, in the future your uh, looseness system. Um, and yeah, so right end there, and then tight it to that. Okay. We have to be careful. Yeah. Not scratch too much the pole, apparently. Okay. Uh, the handlebar, so the pole is in carbon. Uh, we have here a giant stem, not bad looking. Carbon handlebar. Um, I don't see the brand. Um, so let's install it. We've been waiting for about uh, now two, three months this machine. Uh, it's finally here. Uh, I expected to see that really. Um, I didn't imagine it bigger. That's exactly how I imagine it. It's really good looking. Okay, our handlebar is now 
fixed. Uh, I think it's a 600. Uh, 640, 680 wide handlebar. Uh, so, how to turn it on? You have the main switch, uh, a simple button, a nice hard case, and so on the new controllers to avoid a uh, future problem of heat. Ryan has installed some uh, extra active fan. Uh, yeah, okay, it makes a bit of noise. Right now, I can't measure the decibel, um, but probably once you are driving, we won't hear it anymore. Uh, so that's the main switch. On the opposite, you have here uh, the charging port, with the same shape as the, uh, the switch button. You have the charger. So as it's a 68 volt uh, nominal battery. Uh, it charges max 79.8 volts at 10 ampere per hour. Uh, big charging, big charger um, with the socket. So we just plug the charger. Uh, the way to plug it, it's quite nice and simple. Uh, put it in and lock it. That's really rough. The charger is a um, active charger with a fan too uh, like the fast charger on the Duratron for people who know it's about the same noise, not more, not less uh, yeah, it looks quite rough, you know, we're just gonna damage it and to remove it, simply like that uh, what can we say about this RS60? on the rear wheel you have uh, the PMT T41 Slick so in the rear uh, they are showing 6.5 inches front and rear and on the rear it's the 105 right 105 50 and in the front they are a bit smaller i think we are on 90 65 yeah 90 65 6.5 inches foot carbon deck uh, disc magura hc storm 140 millimeter front and rear um, as you can see here, well, we probably noticed that before in previous videos, but we see that the motors has also uh, bent. So once again, the Ryan So with the those vent here and the vent in the deck, so you can see that. Let me show you that. You also have vents here, so to cool all the system, all the battery and the controller mainly. So with that means that the the Ryan is not to be used in a wet condition like today. So that's why also we cannot make a try because it's really raining hard outside. Uh, what else to say? Um, the direction is firm. Um, yeah, I can't try that, so I cannot tell you how uh, stable it is at high speed. But you feel it's really, it's much more firmer than uh, the Dualtron. Uh, of course, we're talking about Dualtron, but that's also uh, the reference. Uh, that's the, the, the machine uh, which we all know, more or less. Um, yeah, as you can see, the ground clearance also is quite high. Uh, we are at, uh, probably more than 20 centimeter. Uh, no suspension in the front, it's really a track machine, so no suspension in the front, uh, cartridge suspension in the rear, uh, it's quite hard, I guess, but I've seen the other one, um, try that. So I'm 95 kilo, and just give you an ID. quite hard but that's what you need actually uh, when you drive at high speed on the track you don't want a machine that uh, is soft and that you, you will lose control on it um, yeah general looking is just uh, wonderful and it's uh, nothing like where I used to see um, yeah to come back a bit on the handlebar uh, Ryan has chosen to use the bicycle 
so I don't know the name in English exactly, the, the Guidoline. Uh, I don't know why, well it's not bad, it's quite soft, maybe to avoid uh, some extra weight. Uh, on the handlebar, on the display, on the police front. So you have the voltage here. Something that has been said by Ryan is that uh, the fact is possible to drive at low speed. I can try once again, but we can try the resistance and the feeling of the throttle. Uh, so when I push just a little bit, you can see that the motor starts. Uh, and we can see they are really, really slow. The more we push, the faster it goes. We even feel the air here. <laughs> I see the, the air. It's really funny to think that you go from maybe 5-6 km per hour to full speed uh, with only one gear. There is no gear. So yeah, uh, I think for this unboxing we are done. Let me show you. Um, of course we can still pre-order the RE60 by Magnobiton and Verpen and Logan. Uh, a few are still coming. We hope uh, to make you a full test drive, a full review soon, when it will be good weather and we we'll receive uh, the other model. For now, I let you. Um, I wish you a nice day, ride safe, and see you next time. Ciao.